the game and shoot what set as you claim it. Uh, it's that eggs box, spit the block his legs live. Fast talker, no wriggling, move walk, I sell a moon rock just to make dividends. Uh, you in traffic with family? That flash make it a portrait. Gun kick back, not grannies from porches. David on the scene, you know that it's scorching. Uh, what's the man with King? That response to the saying, advance to the line, advance to the payment. You from the game and shoot what set as you claim it. You already know the time, told my boys to hold the line. We gon' shoot it out in seconds, leave you posted like a vine. Buy your head down to the king, leave your roses at the shrine. We stay ready for the war, just need the king to drop the sign. Say what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green, that's what you wanted, huh? Say what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green, that's what you wanted, huh? This what you wanted. This what you wanted, huh? Peace and blessings, and welcome back to Xbox Frontline News with your boy, the King. August 20th, 2024. Star date. <laughs> Gamescom. Opening day. Shout out to Kaysante, Risk It For The Biscuit, those people that's out there, boots on the ground, getting information. Today was a day that will go down in infamy. As a contemplating type of day. And my take on it is going to be a little bit different than everybody's, you know, somebody else's take on it. Uh, let's get into what transpired, right? Let's uh, let's do what they don't do, and let's rip off the bandaid. Now, this is the first moment that you should have realized that things was a little bit off the chain. You should, we should have realized things was off the chain when Jeff was presiding, and I noticed throughout the whole show. It was very dismissive when it came to Xbox. Now, I don't know what Xbox has done to garner such hate and vitriol. The disposition that is perceived by not only myself, but everybody that was watching the show. Now I noticed immediately after Xbox had a, a good trailer or something, Jeff was not uh, there to talk about it, present it, or whatever. Stepped away, like whatever. Let the other hosts take care of that. And I didn't understand why they had two hosts. But now I understand. Now, we're going to get to the part where he likes the glee with what happens. And maybe I'm reading too into it. Maybe it's confirmation bias. But the first issue that happened was Towerborn. Everybody was waiting for Towerborn's announcement of the release date and all this other stuff for Xbox. Everybody was expecting that. So when Towerborn pops up, Everybody's going crazy. If you watch the video, I'm going crazy. Oh, I think they said September 9th. Like, yeah, I was right there. Steam. Like their pre-beta or whatever, pre whatever, preview program. And 2025 for Game Pass. And, um, that was like that was that was the first initiate of the shot that hit and you said to yourself what the f now when i was um when i was watching the show on Iron Lowe's podcast we did it live if you want to go see it, you could go check it out uh, we did it live. Uh, when I was watching the show, I just I was noticing little things. 
And um, I hated that thing in particular. That. That that was that was uh the first misstep in marketing. All right? That's the first misstep in marketing. That's how it started. Xbox to take four exclusive video games to PlayStation 5 and Switch. Starfield and Indiana Jones, the Great Circle, not among the titles. That's what we was fed February 21st. Phil Spencer, President, Sarah Bond, Game Studio Chief, Matt Booty, sat there and told us that Hi-Fi Rush, Pentiment, Grounded, and Sea of Thieves was the only games that was going to the competitor. That's what they explained to us. Here's how it ended. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle to launch an Xbox in December coming to PlayStation 5 in 2025. That's how it ended. December 9th for Xbox Series X and X, Windows, PC, Steam. And to arrive on Sony PlayStation 5, spring of 2025. That part. And another series of blunders in Andrew Jones and the Great Circle DLC is coming to Xbox just revealed in the most casual way possible. In a damn blog post, we saw the new trailer from Indiana Jones and the Great Circle and confirmed that the game's release date is December 9th. But in the corner of that card, there's a note that the collector's edition includes the Order of the Giants story DLC to be released at a later date than the game itself. And an announcement blog from Lucasfilm is the only other spot where this DLC seems to be mentioned at all. With a simple amendment that there will be more details coming soon. The DLC will also be available as part of the premium edition, presumably a step down from the collectors. Yeah. In a series of blunders and missteps, they continue to keep form. Now... I had many different thoughts on how I was gonna talk about this, right? Uh, and I'm and I'm talking. I'm not talking f- from the ascended dude spot up in the clouds, looking down. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking from the perspective of an individual to actually understand strategy and business. I'm not even talking from an Xbox fanboy i mean well a perceived well you know what yeah i'm i'm talking from the xbox fanboys perspective real quickly and no what you're not gonna get is uh a tim dog type of rant to a company that owes me nothing right owes me absolutely jack ish and uh, that's not what you're going to get. You're not going to get an ant, the ruler, uh, leave of the platform. You're not going to you're not going to hear stupid stuff like, oh, well, uh, I'm not going to mess with Xbox no more. And I'm going to change my 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 podcast name, I mean, my show name. And. No. If you see, I want a jacket. If you see, I'm still wearing my green shirt. Those things, that's not going to change. I bleed green. You can't say when the good times come in, you're there, and then when the bad times come in, you, you don't stand it. That's the definition of a sucker. That's the definition of a a mustard heart. That's the definition of somebody that's weak. I'm neither a sucker nor am I weak. I don't duck any fates. None of them. I done laid out 
damn near all that whole general PlayStation stuff. Single-handedly by myself. Okay? Now, I had information about this prior. I just refuse to believe it. And Cog will laugh about this. He will laugh about this. Because, you know, he had the same information. Now, we could talk about stuff that we've seen. We saw Indiana Jones a week before. We understood things a week ago. My thing is, why do you hang Phil, Sarah, and Matt out to dry? Why do you cut the balls off of your CEO, your president? Why, why, why? Why hamper them in such a way? This this only comes from up top. Because just February, there was no Starfield, no Indiana Jones. And Whoever bitch ass is inside the building that felt that they wanted to exercise a sense of power to neuter the face of the brand in such a way that the words that will come out of his mouth will now all be questioned. I want you for a second to think, how does that solidify your brand? And don't explain to me how it was a business deal and a business move. Because business deals and business moves don't hurt the person that puts you in position to make those business deals and business moves. Yeah, sure. You guys signed the checks. But he accomplished the mission. You put an agent in the field and removed him, removed his, or revealed his identity, right? It's just, just, if you watch James Bond, MI6 never compromises. Bond. He is the primary asset that must be protected at all costs. Because with that, without that primary asset, Missions can't be completed. Missions that brought that brand back from questionable business practices that almost doomed the franchise and, and almost doomed the brand that he single-handedly brought back and you hang him out to dry. You put three of them on stage to say this. And that we're going to take four games to the other consoles, just four games. We looked at games that are over a year old. So they've been on Xbox and PC for a while. A couple of the games are community driven games. We think it's important that these service based games that have communities behind them, that they can have confidence that they're going to exist in the future. Can we say if either of those titles are Starfield or Indiana Jones? They are not Starfield or Indiana Jones. They are not Starfield or Indiana Jones. Not, 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 not Starfield or Indiana Jones. We made With that, I believe they said it with the wholehearted confidence that that would be upheld. 
this by no means demeans him. It's just an illustration of you set up this elaborate briefing to the world because the rumors were so egregious that they had to talk. The business update. They had to speak. So you paraded them three out there just to double back and make those three look like fools. I championed that whole deal, the ABK thing. I championed it. But I also knew that it would change exactly where the brand would be and where the brand will go. I understood from a business perspective where you would be. But at the same time, I also thought and I don't get paid to think for you. But I thought the position was new IPs, you control your house. That's it. Now, granted, Indiana Jones license is not your IP. And maybe this matter is out of your hands. But to do it in the way that you've done it, to put up a known Xbox hater, to present it, and he did it with such glee. Oh, December 9th, you got the release date, the crowd going crazy. And one more thing, something that you didn't have to do, something that was wholly done on purpose, just to let you know who's in control. I don't know who that show of force was for. That show of force wasn't for the fan base. That show of force wasn't for anything else. But you making sure everyone knows who's in control in that building. This is a time when Appreciation for dedication and hard work is destroyed. Was that a smack in the hand because you lost the conversation? Was that a public flogging because you don't like to be challenged? Is it, is it a dictatorship in that space where individuals can't run the show how they got it to where it's at? Let's be absolutely clear. The only position that you're in is the position that they got you in. And he got you there through grit and determination. At every twist and turn, your bullshit marketing has undermined him, chop blocked him, disrespected, and basically neutered whatever message that he was trying to get to everyone to assure them that that brand that he walks around with proudly, that he put it on his back to bring it back from the doldrums 
to respectability to be now position number two globally out of the three console players that's in the market today. This is the thanks that he gets. You guys discuss me in a manner that I can't even form words to actually get that across. You told everybody to tune in to the public disrespect at the hands of Microsoft to the brand of Xbox. I personally take offense to it. Because not longer than a week ago, I'm used as a marketing tool to get across your messaging with you willingly knowing what you are planning to do. No one would ever remove the name of Phil Dominus Maximus Aurelius Spencer, the first of his name. His past deeds indicated and secured that. See, what, what, what you don't do to a Hall of Famer is remove his accolades. That had never happened. But you also, like the good franchises, like like the Patriots and 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 the, the Steelers. The Cowboys, to some extent, and the 49ers, the good franchises, honors and respects those champions that won for them and never would be seen publicly disrespecting them. I'm starting to think of you guys like the Knicks. I had to watch in total disbelief as Patrick Hewen got disrespected and never became a head coach for the team that he played for that got them to the championships and to the finals. I had to watch as Charles Oakley got dragged out of Madison Square Garden because a president wanted to exercise control over the players that put their blood, sweat, and tears and carried the franchise on the back that got them into prominence, the most respectable years. Because the attention wasn't set on them. Because the conversation isn't about them. Now, this could be way off base. This could be way off base. Or I can be head on. Pause. I'm 98% right all the time. This is the one instance when I knew whatever the truth was and I decided to go against the grain in hopes that y'all ain't going to do my man's dirty like that. Like y'all not gonna do that to him, like that him, not him. Like if, if you if you're gonna do something, just not that. I don't give a damn what you gotta do with marketing, but you gotta make sure that it's streamlined and fits to the point where everybody is on the same damn page. And I don't care about your goddamn ego. I really don't care. All right, because uh there's too many things that I've heard about the level of character that is issued at because of you. The fact that you found the gumption to do that to probably your greatest CEO. Shows me it's about a bottom line and not about the line.
you know the the line that y'all so casually made sure that y'all understood that help put fucking a spine in y'all back. That line, you know the whole that line. That line, remember that. Remember that that uh, that gave the strength. You did them dirty. You did them real dirty. You could have did it different. That game could have been announced after the Xbox game came out and you could have let PlayStation announce it. You don't you didn't need to do it when everybody's watching at Gamescom. You didn't need to do it four months out. You just didn't need to do it. There was a time and a place for things to get done. And you really, you really, you really effed up now, man. You're like, you really, you really, You really did the brand a disservice in disrespecting your CEOs and your presidents. I don't know if you's a game or B. I know Phil is. I don't know if you even give a damn about games. Your head is in AI and in the clouds. But I understand what the business strategy is, and I get it. But I, this is just an open letter to, to the stupidity at your feet. If you want to rule like a hall seeing eye and the strongest hand in the land, you want to rule with an iron grip, do so. But your shit is bullshit, like, because you, your marketing is under you. Is you. Get your game together, bro. Because you know what's the wildest part about it is? The wildest thing about it is how much disrespect does somebody have to take before they leave? Because maybe you think Phil won't bounce. Maybe you think Matt won't bounce. Maybe you think Sarah won't bounce. Or maybe you think you can control one of those two more than you can control him. Maybe that's something that you actually believe. Maybe they just all leave you high and dry and leave you to back that stuff up by yourself and figure it out. But no, I'm not booting up my PlayStation talking about I'll play the game over there. Nah, that's not happening. It's still hashtag no PlayStation 6. I want to stomp Kong out, Kong out this whole generation. It's still that. Don't ever get it twisted. I don't bend, I don't fold, I don't break. But what I do say is be careful what you wish for. Because what was once true today can be a lie tomorrow. And this revolving world of karma bring about a sudden change that sometimes people don't see. Because if that AI don't perform and that cloud service don't do what it's supposed to do, 
and your head is on that chopping block, because it will be, because you was down 17%, and your head will be on that chopping block like it was for them cell phones. And that AI don't take off in September like y'all praying. And your numbers don't work right. Don't look for an ally over there. Because when it's time to cut, you cut. And elevation will happen because you best believe that Xbox Division is going to keep selling. In spite of decisions made from above. And if Phil Dominus Maximus Aurelius Spencer gets in the position of control, I mean total control, then you will see a full execution of whatever his his vision of Xbox is. Not your vision of what Xbox is. If it's your first time here, This is not indicative of Xbox Frontline News. This is a measured King David talking to each and every Xbox fan. We've been through bad CEOs. We've been through bad uh, presidents. We've been through bad situations. And yes, we are still here. Just like that X. You see, when dude said, we hold the line and don't hold people accountable. Oh, we do. We always have. But what we also understand is, it takes the right people to make the right moves. And one wrong do will mess everything up. So, like if you like. If you don't like it. If you don't like it, then thanks. Thanks for watching. Because without you, this stuff don't get to move. And if you want to become a member, please do so. We give away coins on Fridays. We do live shows every Friday. And I drop videos every day, six days a week. So I'm going to take that logo. And I'm going to throw it around that hater's neck. And I'm going to yell out, try to play the game pass. (laughs) 